when you create a pivot table, Excel assigns a default pivot table style. I've got two fields in the row label area here, a category and a product name, and then the total quantity for each of those. I'm going to change the formatting so that it's clearer how these are grouped. Right now there's a line below this heading and that seems to separate the heading from the items below it. So I'm going to show you a couple of quick things you can do to make these groups stand out a little better. The first thing you can do is just add blank rows. So there'd be a blank row between the bar items and then the next heading. To do that, I'm going to select one of the category names and then on the ribbon under Pivot Table Tools, click Design. There's a blank row command. I'll click the arrow and insert blank row after each item. So that puts a blank row above each of the subheadings that we have for category. So that's a quick and easy fix if you have lots of room. If you don't want to add a lot of blank rows though, we can change the pivot table style so that this line is above the heading and that will group the items better. So I'm going to remove that blank row and to do that I could undo right away or if you're going back later, go to blank rows, remove blank. So now we're back to the original. And to change this style, I'm going to go again to the design tab. And here are all the pivot table styles. If I click the arrow, I can see highlighted is the one that I'm using, Pivot Style Light 16. Now if I right click on that, I can't modify it, but I can duplicate that style and create my own. So I'll click Duplicate, and I can now make a name for it. It's just put a 2 at the end of the existing name. So I'm going to backspace twice to get rid of that. And in front, I'm going to click and type My. This will be my version of that style. Now I want to find the place that is storing this line below that heading. And you can see this list of elements and some are in bold and those have formatting applied. So I'm going to scroll down and find something that looks like that heading. So the first row stripe looks promising, but we'll see what's further down. Okay, and there's a row subheading here. So I'll select that and then click Format. And it shows any font formatting, border. And there I can see that blue border at the bottom of the cell. To change that, I want the border up at the top. So I'm going to click up at the top and that adds that thin blue border. And now to get rid of this one, I'll click on None as the line style. Click the bottom border. So now we'll have that border up at the top and none at the bottom. I'll click OK. So we've changed this new style that we created and I'll click OK. Now nothing changes in the pivot table right away because it still has that previous style applied to it. So with the cell selected, go back up to the styles and here's the custom one that I just created. I'll click that. And now you can see the line above each of the groups. So it's a better separator, in my opinion. It shows how things are grouped together. And it doesn't add a lot of extra blank rows to the pivot table. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.